continues to keep a charter school open in Troy. Parents say it's so valuable to their children's education. Our Emily Deficiani was at a news conference earlier today and joins us now with more on this effort. Emily. More than 200 students will be affected if the ARC Charter School closes. That's why many in the community are calling for action to save their school. We oppose a decision to close the school. A call for the ARC Community Charter School to remain open next school year after the state's Board of Trustees Charter School Committee voted to deny renewal of its operating license. We are very frustrated. It's absolutely true. We had a waiting list of 90 kids. You know, it's, it's a, you know, what we are offering is very much needed by the community and very much appreciated by the community and very much sought out by the community. The vote was based on student performance at ARC, which the committee says is below standard. But many say they feel the implementation of Common Core is to blame. What you have here is a school that's essentially getting a one and done opportunity. This, I mean, this school may end up being one of the, you know, the only school in the state that's closed based on Common Core test scores. Phillips says the vote to close the school is premature. The issue is, is it's going to take some time to actually implement uh, you know, your curriculum. And, and that's what's so unfair about penalizing the school after the first year. But time is running out, and if the decision isn't reversed, many parents say they don't know where their children will go. We'd prefer to stay here. We'd really prefer to stay here. The school has filed a lawsuit against the state to try to keep its doors open. The case will be heard in court on June 2nd. Kate? You're reporting for us. Thanks, Emily.